everyone happy monday it's connor welcome back to my channel i hope you're all having a great day so far i'm back i know i took a little hiatus over the weekend and late last week i got my wisdom teeth out if you saw the update that i posted on instagram and that i also posted on my youtube um page whatever that's called like your page where you can post stuff but yeah, I got my wisdom teeth out, um, took a little break, did some pre-filming for you guys, so you guys did see a couple of candle reviews, but I'm back now and I am ready to talk about some new candles for you guys. I've got some really exciting videos planned for this weekend. I've got a couple of haul videos, so um, yeah, we're going to have a lot of fun. Thank you to everyone who sent kind messages and thoughts. Um, everything went really well with the procedure and I might look a little bit um, swollen still, but yeah, I am ready to talk about these candles. So what are we gonna be talking about today? We are going to be talking about Homeworks' new collection, The Day at the Carnival Collection. Now, I picked up three of these. Um, these released last Tuesday, I believe. Yeah, these. Be I think that these uh, released last Tuesday. And I picked up three of these. Um, I'm really excited about this collection. I really like this collection a lot. Um, I feel like Homeworks is doing well right now with their latest collections, this release and the Nostalgic Treats collection. I thought they did really good with both of these collections. And specifically this collection really had my name written all over it. So I picked up three of them and honestly, I love all three of these scents. And these are hoard worthy in my opinion. For me, um, I really like these. And I didn't want to go overboard and like get backups or, you know, go crazy or anything like that. But um, yeah, I really like these. I did pay for them with my own money. These were not sent in PR. Um, I know a lot of people did get PR. I did not get PR for these, so I did pay for them with my own money. But let's talk about the three that I picked up. Okay, so... The first one I picked up is this funnel cake. Of course, I had to pick up the funnel cake one because this sounds right up my alley. Um, this is actually a repackage of something, in my opinion. I smelled it, and I was like, you know what? This smells a little bit familiar. We'll talk about it in a second. Um, I picked up the triple berry pie, which is a brand new one. Um, I have not smelled this anywhere, I don't believe, but I really like this scent, you guys. Um... This is a good one, we'll talk about it. And then lastly, this one is a repackage of Caramel Popcorn. It was in the Hobnail, if you remember that. Um, but I did pick this one up and um, yeah, I really like this one as well. So I've been burning all of these um, down. I'm going to have post-burn in-depth reviews coming out tomorrow for all three of these. So be looking forward to that tomorrow, but yeah, let's talk about these candles. I will link them down below in the description if you're interested in shopping. They are currently available on homeworks.shop. I know one of these is sold out. The funnel cake is sold out, unfortunately. Um, these sold out pretty quickly. A few of them did. Um, I think the chocolate waffle cone might be sold out. Let me look on. No, the chocolate waffle cone is available. The berry snow cone, that's the one that sold out. So there were six in the collection, the three that I picked up, and then there was also a cotton candy, a chocolate waffle cone, and a berry snow cone. And the funnel cake and the berry snow cone are sold out. But the other four are available. I will leave the link down below to shop if you're interested. And it looks like they're currently on sale where you're saving $6. So it brings them down to $24. And you can use my code Connor Loves Candles to get yourself an extra 10% when you shop $40 or more. Um, I know that that's a little bit much. They're like, I don't like how they make you do um, a minimum price, but I don't make the rules. So you've got to spend 40 or more and then you can get an extra 10% off using my code Connor Loves Candles. I will put that all down below in the description. But uh, yeah, let's talk about these. We'll talk about the funnel cake first. This is sold out, sorry. But um, the notes on here are vanilla praline cake, golden apple, cinnamon stick, and star anise. And to me, this smells just like hot cider donut 
and sugared beignets combined together. I really feel like hot cider donut and sugared beignets, I always thought that those were like the same scent themselves. I didn't really think that there was a major difference between the two. By the way, I have reviews of both of those um, candles on my channel. I'll try and find them and link them down below. But um, yeah, this smells the exact same to me. I'm not saying that I dislike it. I really like this scent a lot. This is a good one. Hot cider donut and sugared beignets. Those are like some of my favorites from Homeworks. So uh, I really like this scent. Um, as far as the notes, I feel like this notes in here are a little bit off. I feel like it smells a little bit different than what they put. Vanilla praline cake. This definitely has vanilla in it. That's definitely the base. And I do think that I get like a praline, which is almost like a caramel sugary type of scent. And whenever you put praline in something, it's strong. And this one is strong for sure. Um, I do get a slight spiciness to this one. It is definitely more of like a gourmand spiciness. It's not at all like the red hot anything like that. It's kind of more like that end of summer, like carnival spiciness. Um, star anise, that's kind of a weird note I feel like to put in here. I don't really get that honestly, but let me know if you do. Um, golden apple, I do like how they put some apple in here. There's just like a slight apple note in here. Um, very slight, kind of again, giving you that like carnival vibe where it's like the end of the year and you just like have that like freshly baked warmed apple scent in the air and that just mixes really well with the slight spiciness but then also that like gourmand bakeriness from this one but I really like this honestly this is super good but if you already have sugared beignets or hot cider donut then you know you're not missing out on anything it is the same scent by the way, I do like these labels. I think that they fit the theme, but like personally, they're not my favorite because I just don't love the ticket. I like the full size labels where <clears throat> they do um, like the, I don't have one here with me, but when they do, you know, the big wrapper on the original labels that Homeworks has always used, I don't like these or the ones where they cut off and do like white at the bottom. Not my favorite, but I do think that they were, you know, trying to go with like the ticket theme. Um, but I do like the carnivals. I think it would have just been pretty though to have like the uh, carousel as the full picture label. But anyways, yeah, I do like this one a lot. I am burning it down. I'm almost at the halfway point and I'm having really good burn with all three of these. Don't want to get too much into it because I'll share it in the reviews tomorrow. But these are all doing really good with the burn and they're all doing really good with strength and throw as well. So really happy. And these are strong on cold. These are these are definitely stronger on cold than I feel like we got last year. And same goes with the burn. These are doing good. So yeah, really like this one, the funnel cake. And it is the old lids, by the way. These are not the, uh, or sorry, the new lids. These are not the uh, old classic, like heavy duty lids. These are the newer, uh, more plasticky lids. Okay. The next one, this is Triple Berry Pie. Now this is a brand new one for me and to Homeworks. I don't think that it's a repackage, but if it is, then let me know down below in the description. But, or sorry, in the comments, you guys can't type in the description. Um, so the notes on this one are sweet blackberry, juicy blueberry, red raspberry, and homemade pie crust. This smells really good. Um, I don't really necessarily get a huge pie crust note in here. It's kind of like a lighter pie crust for me. This really just consists of like a very sugary, sweet berry type of scent, but I really like it. If you like fruity and gourmand mixed together, then you have to check this one out. Um, the fruit that I get from in here, I do feel like I get blackberry, blueberry, and raspberry, maybe a hint of strawberry in here as well but I think that that like blackberry and raspberry combination, a little bit of blueberry, it's, those are the fruits that I'm getting in here. But this smells so good. Um, it is very sweet. I could see how someone might find this to be a little bit cloying. So if you're not a fan of like the super sweet scents, then you may want to avoid this one. But if you like those really sugary, fruity, like almost like syrupy fruit types of scents where it's like just very overly sugary, definitely artificial, not at all like the real authentic berries. But if you like that like super sugary berry, then I think you'll really like this one. Um, 
This one also does well for me in strength and throw, but yeah, about halfway done with this one. I'm actually about to light all of these up in a minute. So yeah. All right, and then the last one here, this is the Caramel Popcorn. Now this has been released before by Homeworks and um, they didn't rename it or anything, which I think is helpful because sometimes when they rename it, it just makes it hard because then you feel like you bought something that you may already have or don't like the scent or I've already had before. So I like how they um, just gave this one the same name. Um, so the Caramel Popcorn was in that hobnail last year. If you pick that one up, I don't think it's available anymore. Does, I don't even know, does Homeworks do hobnails still? I think that they do a couple, but they definitely don't do as many as they used to, I don't believe. Um, the notes in here are freshly popped popcorn, caramel brittle, praline, and sweet cream. And this is so delicious. I get all of the notes in here, to be honest. Um, this smells just like the notes, um, and it smells super delicious. It definitely smells to me like you're at the fair. Like, this is what the fair smells like to me. It also smells very similar to a popular Summer Bath and Body Works candle, which is Summer Boardwalk. This is the new packaging, by the way, for Summer Boardwalk for this year. Um, I picked this one up over the weekend for the $12.95 three-wick sale, and I actually picked up like six or seven candles. So I will share a haul of what I picked up because I picked up a few new things that I've never tried before. So I'll share a haul, I think on Wednesday. So be looking forward to that. But these smell pretty much exactly alike. I do think that there's a slight difference. The caramel popcorn is a little bit more like of that popcorn note where I feel that the summer boardwalk is a little bit more of like that creamy, almost like ice cream scent, but I really love Summer Boardwalk. This has always been a favorite of mine for the summertime from Bath & Body Works. Um, so I really like this scent from Homeworks, the caramel popcorn. I get the popcorn, I get the brittle, it's creamy, there's praline. Um, I love this one, which surprises me because I normally don't love like the popcorn scents and sometimes I don't trust Harry with caramel because sometimes he can overdo it, but I actually really like this one and um, I'm excited to review this. So yeah, you guys, that is all three of the ones that I picked up. There are three more. Um, so definitely go check those out if you're interested, but these were the three that I was primarily interested in. And honestly, I need to start, uh, getting through my spring and summer collection. Cause I know that we're about to transition over to like new stuff. So I really am trying to not hoard or like overbuy. So, um, that's why I kind of contained myself and only got a couple of them. But let me know your thoughts down below in the comments if you guys did pick these up. What do you guys think of this collection? Which ones did you pick up? And um, let me know your thoughts. I will leave the link to shophomeworks.shop down below in the description as well as my code if you're interested in saving some money. But thank you as always for watching. Please like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new here, and I will see you guys again tomorrow for post burn in-depth reviews of all three of these candles. See you guys then. Bye. Thank you.